Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we're going to be covering another one of these uh, Wooloo like Twitter kind of dumps he just had uh, where he just went through the offseason kind of just posted a lot of the extra stuff he had now that the offseason is kind of coming to a conclusion and stuff. And more specifically today we're going to be talking about the Nemesis situation because as Wooloo says here, potentially three NA teams were interested in Nemesis. And in this video today I'm kind of be, going to kind of be speculating about who I think those teams were, maybe why some different things didn't work out um, and what we can kind of gauge for that going forward into the future. But before we get into that, I just want to say a quick word from our sponsor, which is Draft Buff. They are a fantasy esports app and website that hosts a ton of awesome esports games, including stuff for the LCS, LEC, and LCK, which are obviously going to be starting soon, I'm sure, and I hope a lot of you guys are interested in. They have fantasy leagues where you can play head to head all season long with your friends or just random people you meet on the app because new leagues are being created all the time. They have Royale mode where there's 100 entries, one winner. You have a budget, and each player costs a certain amount of money, and you got to fit it under that. Uh, and then they have draft pass where you can earn avatars and taunts to show who's the boss. I'm going to have a link for my uh, link in the description below. And it's going to be the pinned comment on this video. If you guys are interested in checking out draft buff, signing up, playing some fantasy esports alongside a bunch of other people in their awesome community, definitely check out that links and remember to join draft buff today. With that being said, here we go. Getting right into this um, again, which is just some of the information Wulu has for us. Uh, just to start off with a couple of the other things, he said if, if Excel didn't get Jekyll Lad, Zico was going to be their option for mid. Again, I think that's pretty interesting. Um, people are really, really hyped up for Jekyll Lad, um, but a lot of people were kind of excited for Zico as well. I've heard him rumored to a bunch of other teams in the LCS and LEC in the offseason. So that's kind of interesting. Um, he says he doesn't know how Dig and NA ended up with a full NA roster because they seriously considered mini EU players. So again, Dignitas could have had a completely different roster and uh they ended up with one of the the least exciting least hyped up rosters in uh the lcs when all was said and done so that's kind of interesting but the big story that i want to talk about in this video today is that three na teams were potentially interested in nemesis now two of those i'm pretty confident about we heard a lot about dignitas um and just as wulu says they considered many eu players they i'm assuming considered nemesis as well especially if he was interested in uh, like three different teams were interested in him um and uh, I think that's interesting because uh, like, I'm, I'm not surprised it didn't work out because obviously Dignitas's final roster ended up being pretty terrible. Um, and Nemesis has even said before that he did turn down some of the offers he received from North America. Um, like he actually got some offers that he actually said no to. And I, w I would not be surprised if Dignitas was one of those, because obviously if you're Nemesis, you don't want to play in the ninth or 10th place team in North America. Um, you, it could be potentially damaging to your career and reputation if you go there and don't look good because it can be difficult to stand out in a team that's going to be probably as bad as Dignitas is going to be. You're going to have some bad games. You're going to look bad. Um, cause we know just even like from playing solo queue and stuff, if you have a bad team, if you have a bad situation, it can make you look worse for sure. It can make you perform worse. If you have questions about their coaching staff, their infrastructure, their talent, just in general, um, it can be tough it, depending on how much money they were offering, which again, probably wasn't a super high salary because Nemesis isn't coming off his best season. And Dignitas is one of these NBA back teams. that doesn't have a lot of money to spend already. Um, you know, a lot of the, a lot of it didn't make sense for Nemesis. Not a very good team, not a very good situation, not very much money. I can see why he would say no to Dignitas. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really blame them for reaching out to him either. Another team that I'm pretty sure did reach out to him and I think is a little bit more interesting would be Evil Geniuses. We did hear a lot about that. Um, and I think that's more interesting. Again, I could see why he would want to say no to that team. They ended up with Deftly at 80 carry, which isn't super exciting. I definitely have some question marks about that. But the rest of their team is pretty good and pretty well respected around the world they have impact they have Sven Skarin, they have ignar if they could have potentially found a little bit better of an 80 carry situation like with lost or something this confuses me a little bit why nemesis wouldn't want to join this team this team has a chance to be top three in north america they have a chance to go to worlds nemesis would have a solid roster solid infrastructure solid coaching staff and probably a solid uh, a solid um paycheck as well because evil geniuses does have a lot of money to throw around um where he would be able to prove himself you know in a, in a mid tier to upper tier L lcs team and maybe even make it back to worlds and get to prove himself all over again so if evil geniuses was one of the teams and uh you know they could have potentially gotten a little bit better for an 80 carry i would question nemesis turning down their offer again we don't know exactly what happened but i would assume that evil geniuses would rather have nemesis than jizuke so i, I am a little bit interested to see what happened there um, and I think Evil Geniuses would have been a good situation for Nemesis. So if he did turn them down, I, I would question his decision making a little bit there. Unless he just really doesn't want to go to North America. If he doesn't want to leave his friends, family, um, you know, for whatever reason. Um, but if he's willing to go to North America and he has no other offers in the LEC, no other chances to prove himself, um, I, I would I would 
could want him to consider going to Evil Genius. I think they are a solid team, and with Nemesis, he would obviously be, to me, at least in my opinion, would be an improvement over Jazuke. He would have that team at a level where they could compete with the 100 Thieves, where they could compete with TSM and potentially go to Worlds. Um, and that's really what Nemesis needs, is just a chance to showcase himself, to prove himself once again, to prove to fans that he can be a top-tier mid laner in the LCS, in the LEC, and a guy who can perform at international competitions, because uh, people are just left with a sour taste in their mouth right now, uh, seeing Nemesis the end of summer split into summer playoffs into worlds where he just did not look that great. Um, but, but yeah, so I, I think evil geniuses wouldn't be a horrible situation for him. And then the other two teams that come to mind, the first thing that comes to my mind would be hundred thieves. Uh, because we did hear some rumors about Nemesis potentially going to hundred thieves during the off season. And, uh, I, I think they probably did reach out to him at some point. There were rumors and stories that someday i mean someday for sure applied for his green card there were rumors and speculation that maybe he would get his green card and get his residency this split and then in that world 100 thieves would be able to import a mid laner i think nemesis would fit perfectly into that team but the reality is so someday is still a import this season so they have someday they have closer they needed a resident mid laner that's why they end up with demonte that's why they don't end up with a guy like nemesis so if 100 thieves was one of the teams i think that would make sense and man if someday was a resident and uh, nemesis we will fit in this team 100 thieves would be really really scary i would probably have to favor them over tsm as the three seed in the lcs and say that maybe they could even potentially take some games off cloud nine and maybe even fight for that second spot in the lcs that would be a very very interesting exciting team that would be a big pickup for 100 thieves in my opinion um, because I think most people would rather have Nemesis over Demonte, even though the, Demonte does have a solid fan base and he, he has looked decent at times. I think Nemesis would just, you know, way, way, way outclass him. Um, so that would be pretty big. So that would be crazy. Um, if it wasn't 100 Thieves, the other option I could see would maybe be TSM, was maybe interested in Nemesis at some point. Um, but then again, if they had Power of Evil, depending on when they decided on him, I think I rate Power of Evil way, way higher than Nemesis. So, um, you know, I wouldn't really say that TSM would have maybe ever considered him too much, but I'm just trying to find a kind of like, uh, think about what teams had money to spend, what teams needed a mid laner, uh, what some different options were. So Nemesis to hundred thieves, Nemesis to TSM, Nemesis to evil geniuses. I think those all would have been solid options. I see why he wouldn't be interested in Dignitas, but uh, and then obviously 100 Thieves had two imports, so they probably couldn't have offered him the mid lane position anyway. But uh, if Evil Geniuses did reach out to him, I would question why Nemesis was not willing to accept that offer. And I would I would want to know just a little bit about uh, how it went down, what happened, and, and what kind of uh, the salaries were. Did they ever actually offer to him? Um, and maybe there's another team. I've heard people speculate, maybe Golden Guardians, uh, maybe some teams like that. Um, but uh golden garden is another team that wasn't really trying to spend much money this offseason so i would also question that a little bit but just some interesting things you know wulu saying that three na teams were interested in nemesis obviously nemesis himself has said he got offers from north america he turned them down so it is interesting to finally hear a number and just kind of speculate and and more things it'll be interesting to see what happens with nemesis going forward in the future there's more rumors that he's going to be uh boot camping in korea with ls maybe living with him in crown shot maybe uh, obviously streaming more trying to build up his social medias and stuff uh, but also just grinding solo queue grinding Grinding Korean solo queue, trying to to find a way back into a top tier league because he's definitely talented enough. It's just weird that he hasn't ended up with an opportunity yet. Uh, but when he does, he'll have another chance to prove himself. Hopefully, it's uh, you know before too long. Um, but it'll depend how these rosters shake up, what uh, what teams need a mid laner because mid lane is obviously a very very competitive position. Um, and, and yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Nemesis, the the most the most recent memories we have, it's always going to be what have you done for me lately. The most recent memories we have of him are him just not looking that great. So people really need you know some new gameplay, some new proving of Nemesis to show that he is better than that, that he can be that hyped up prospect once again. He can be a dominant top tier mid laner in a major league once again. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like and enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Nemesis situation. What team do you think should look for him? What team should he look to go to? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to update on my latest content. Check me over at Twitch, twitch.tv slash I underscore am underscore germ. Remember to check out Draft Buffs. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.